Hi everyone. If it's the first time you see me, I'm Ramsey. I'm a ClickUp Verified Consultant, and I own an agency that helps companies streamline their processes and automate them in ClickUp. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create tasks in ClickUp 10 ways. You might think the only way to create a task in ClickUp is to go here in the list and say task from a list view, and I click enter and it created it. It's probably the way you used to the first time you arrive on ClickUp. Pretty explicit, add task, you add it, it's in your view, great. But there are actually other ways to do it. The next one is gonna be using this button here on top to add your task. And task from button is the second way to do it. As you can see, we've created a second task here. The next way to create a task is gonna be from the toolbar here. So you're gonna click create items here on top and call it task from toolbar. Again, task created. Next, you can create a task straight from the search bar. So you can type search and go create new task here. And we're gonna call it task from search bar. Enter again, and here we are. So we've seen four ways to create tasks, list view, button here, that button here on top, and the search bar. But we can go even faster here and create it from a shortcut. So first we have to make sure that shortcuts are enabled in our workspace. We go here in our settings and we're gonna go into hotkeys here and click save changes. Now back to our list, I'm gonna use the hotkey for creating the task, which is just T. So you type T on your keyboard anywhere in ClickUp and it will let you create a task in the context you're in. So if I click T here, it will create a task in the list called task magic. So task from shortcut. Next, you can create a task from the sidebar and that's pretty useful if you're in a different context from where you wanna create the task. Say I'm in this client project list here and I wanna create my task here into task magic. I'll just click the three dots and go into create new task, task from sidebar. And there we go. The task has been created here and I didn't have to go into that specific list to create it. Next thing I can do is create it from a document. So I'm gonna open up a ClickUp document here and I'm gonna open up these meeting minutes into the next steps. I'm gonna use the slash command and we've talked about the slash commands in the ClickUp tips video that's gonna appear right now. Back to our task creation, I'll just type slash and you go task, mention a task and I'm gonna create a task by just typing its name, task from document. Next, I'll go to link to task or lock here on top, and I'll just add a task. So we've seen the six main ways to create a task straight from ClickUp, but you could also create your tasks from outside of ClickUp. And that's where it becomes really interesting because you'll pick up any context you are in through the ClickUp Chrome extension. The first thing you have to do is go to Google and type click up Chrome extension here, and then you're gonna add the extension to Google Chrome and download it. It's gonna ask me to confirm, and there we go, it's installed. Now, what's amazing is that I'll be able to create my tasks from anywhere in my browser. Let's take an example. I'm gonna navigate to the New York Times website, open it up, and I'm gonna go into this article and say I find this interesting and I wanna pin it into my ClickUp workspace. I'm gonna right click on the page, go to ClickUp and go to create task. The first time I do it, ClickUp is gonna ask me to log in and to connect my workspace to the Chrome extension. So I'll select my workspace and click connect. And from there, I can go back to my page and click save bookmark or create task again. And then ClickUp is gonna ask me to either create a task as a bookmark or as a new task. I prefer creating it as a bookmark because what it also does is that it pulls the screenshot from the page I'm in. So it's super cool if you're saving an article and you wanna have a quick look at what it looks like. So it gets the title from the title of the page and it gets the screenshot from where you're at. And if you save it as a bookmark, it will appear here in your list. I'll pull the name for the website as well as the link to the article. So I can always open up that article again if I want to. And there we go. By default, when you turn on the ClickUp Chrome extension, it will also appear here in the bottom. And you could also create your tasks straight from here at any context. And what's cool is that, yes, you can add bookmarks, but you could also create a new task that's totally unrelated. And maybe you're on an article that reminds you of something, and maybe you have the idea to create a LinkedIn 
post on love languages because you saw this article and it gave you an idea and you could add it into this list that we called task magic and click create. And same way it's created here. Last thing you can do with the Chrome extension is actually create tasks from Gmail. If you're on Gmail and say your manager sends you something that's actionable, you will have this little ClickUp logo appearing here and you can click on it. And what it will do is fetch all the info from the email and turn it into a task. So you'll pick the subject, the email, the sender, etc., and it will create a new task straight from it. As you can see, it turned this email called send a proposal to Apple into a ClickUp task here called send a proposal to Apple. And if you get an attachment in your email, it will actually attach it into the ClickUp task. Now, if you're not using Gmail, I'm going to show you the last amazing way to actually create tasks in ClickUp, which is going to be through forwarding your emails. So if you right click on any list here and you go into this feature called email to list, you can actually copy this email. And as ClickUp explains, you will pick the name, subject, body and attachments from any email tool you're using and turn it into a ClickUp task. What we'll do is that instead of using the Chrome extension, we're going to go here into more and forward, and we're going to paste this address. As you can see, it even found the name of the list and click send. Now the same way ClickUp has created a task here and the title of my task is my subject of email and the description of my task is the content of my email. And this is probably the most game changing way to create a task in ClickUp because a lot of companies still use email. And if you want to change habits, you kind of have to use these kind of features to transition from creating tasks in email, requesting things in emails to actually using task management to handle your workflow. If you're a manager, request something through an email, I recommend you to just forward the task to your own list in ClickUp, whether it's your team list or your private list and to actually handle it there. And little by little, if everyone in the company starts doing it, you'll end up just using ClickUp to handle tasks and to create them. And you won't need to use this feature anymore. But this is a great feature to transition from email task management to ClickUp task management. That's it for today. As you can see, we're able to create 10 tasks from 10 different ways. My favorite way is probably the shortcuts, but the most innovative way to create a task and the one that's probably gonna be super used in your company, if you're still using email, it's gonna be email to list. And if your team doesn't have the habit of creating tasks in ClickUp yet, that's definitely a game changer. You're gonna create that habit, forward your emails to your ClickUp list and start working there. That's it for today. And if you wanna know more about ClickUp's beginner tips, there's another video for this. You can find it in the description below. I'll see you next time.